I'm going to show you how to set up some functions of the new ASUS RTAC 5300. To do the initial setup, you can use the information that comes with the router, or you can do a manual setup following these steps. I'm going to start from the fact that I have the router up and running. So I'm going to log in. This is the network map screen. This is the screen that you will see after you log in. You can see the general connection of the router, uh, the clients, information about the uh, MAC address, and the wireless network. You can change the name of the network here, even the password, or you can do it directly from the link in here. And you see this is the same one. Necom Frameworks 2.4 is the same as this one. So in here, you have access to more of the functions of this wireless network, the advanced functions. Um, the wireless MAC address, MAC filter, So let's go to the main one. So the guest network, I'm not using it, but this uh, allows you to create a wireless signal for guests. So you can set up a password here. And the nice thing about this is you can even limit the time the, uh, that you're going to allow the users to access the internet through this network. This option is nice because you can uh, limit the users to to access the internet, but not your network. Like let's say you had a, a home network with shared folders, so this function is gonna let the user who access this guest network to access only the internet and not the folders in the network. Now I'm going to the air protection. This is the main reason why I got this router, the parental control. First part is to uh, to block the access to certain websites. I'm gonna turn it on, and in this case, I'm gonna block a mini iPad from my kid to access any adult site. You know there are preset filters, and um, I can also lock the access to uh, streaming for games. I'm gonna leave it just like that. For adult so I'm gonna apply it I'm gonna add and this is the first device that is is blocked and now I'm gonna do the same thing for the ps4 this is the one I know because I look at the MAC address I'm gonna block the adult sites and I'm gonna apply Now I'm going to show how I block the internet access to this device using the uh, time scheduling. I have done it for the same devices already, so I'm going to show you how to edit or how to see what I did on this device. As you can see here, the allow timing clear color and the dark color is the night so based on this setup the iPad mini is gonna have access from 6 in the morning to 8 in the night no access um, this is for Sunday and Saturday on Saturday and Friday I'm letting this device to connect until 9 p.m. So in this section from uh, 8 to 3 p.m., there is no internet access on this device. So the kid has can focus on the homework. So there is no internet on this section. And after the homework is done, he will have access to the internet. Now click OK. Now I'm going to take a look on the PS4. This The timing is, restriction is a little bit different than this one. As you can see there is an internet access all day. 
so I'm gonna set up um, nine, 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 nine. Okay, so from 6 a.m. to 9. On Sunday, I'm gonna allow the access all day. Now from uh, night, Friday and Saturday. And apply it. This router also comes with a network network protection features, so I'm gonna enable it. I'm gonna go to the traffic analyzer. This uh, tool is really nice. You can see the usage of the internet and the devices, also the applications. Like uh, in this case, YouTube is the most used one. This also shows the top five clients. So this device is the one who has consumed more internet, as you can see here. Second one, sorry, first one is the the Apple TV. Second one is this one. This is a PC. And this is a an iPad. Like I say, this is really nice because you can you can know which device is using most of the bandwidth. In my case, this is an Apple TV, so I know they are using Netflix or Hulu or streaming video. And uh, using this information, I can go to the uh, to the queues and try to assign high priorities to these devices. Like, let me see, like this one. So I'm gonna go to queues and let's say the uh, let me go back. Let's say it's on this one. I'm gonna go to queues. I know that this uh, the Apple TV. I'm gonna turn it on. I'm gonna say bandwidth limiter and then I'm gonna choose the uh, the Apple TV. Where is it? this one I'm gonna say that this one has a uh, high priority so then I apply what I did is I am saying that this device when different people is using the internet I want this device to consume most of the bandwidth so that means that when I'm watching movies and uh, my kids are watching also videos on their devices the priority is gonna be for this device, so I'm not gonna have problem like uh, you know the video stopping, streaming issues because I said the this device is gonna consume you know most of the bandwidth. Another nice feature is uh, on the web history, you can also see what every device is accessing. So let's say the family run Apple TV. Those are the uh, website or sites that this device has access. Let's go to the. Let's take a look on the PlayStation. Um, the USB application. I haven't played yet with these functions, but I took a look on this time machine. Uh, it looks like uh, it's a way to do backups using a um, USB drive. The iCloud, another way to do backups. Like I say, I haven't played with these functions yet. I'm gonna go to the um, to the wireless. I think that we went to there already. Now I'm gonna show you how to do some port forwarding on the one menu so in here I am pointing my server toward the port 80 and also a DVR system as you can see here um, 
it's very easy you just put the name of the service the port the IP of the device and as you add it well I want to use a different port the reason why I got this error is because I'm, I'm, I'm using the 81 already so I'm gonna use a FTP FTP port for let's say for uh, this computer just like that if we go a system lock under system lock we can see the, the activity for the ports that I opened also the IPs that every device is using the connections last part that I want to talk about the administration this is how the device is set up as default wireless router and in the system section we have the uh, username we can change the password in here set up the time and also do a restore or backup of the settings I'm gonna save the current settings I'm getting this prompt I'm using Google Chrome and that's the reason why the file was download to the downloads folders so this is the settings file from the router this uh, router is not cheap but it has a lot of nice features in my case I got it because the parental control and, um, it has a lot of functions I try to go and understand and explain how to use some of them but of course there is a lot to cover I hope this um, information helps anybody um, have fun